Let's do this one more time. Loving Mother God, like an earthly mother who gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless every Christian mother. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. As Jesus healed the afflicted and restored those who have died, he also forgives our sins and gives us new life. Thanks be to God for the love and mercy. Mike. Mike. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our YouTube viewers and our Facebook viewers. Thank you for once again joining the Best Salem service. You're part of our family. If you haven't liked or subscribed, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Join the Best Salem family. You won't regret it. Coming up this week, you will also get to view live videos of our food distribution. So join the family so that you don't miss anything. And to all of you who have joined, thank you. And as always, continue to walk in the, the blessing of who you are. Amen? Amen. Amen. Dear God, this past year and more of life has been marked with so much anxiety, fear, even death. So much has happened in our country and across the globe. Everyone has been affected, including our mothers. Some have been able to see their children, grandchildren. The isolation has been unreal. I pray that you bring comfort to mothers. I pray that you restore them in relationships that have been strained or lost. Help them to keep safe from the coronavirus as they seek to reestablish these relationships. Please reunite parents and children who may have been at odds politically due, due to the pandemic. I ask that you help them to prioritize the relationship over being right, that they would prioritize love over winning. Thank you, God, for these mothers you kept in good health. May those who passed away rest in peace. No one is quite sure what the future of schooling or work life looked like for some places. Please help the mothers affected in these areas to make smart and wise choices. God, guide them in continuing to live lives that are devoted to you and our service to those around them. Pandemic or not, you're watching over us. Comfort them with that knowledge today. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the power, the glory, and the glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Our scripture this morning comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 28 to 31. Her children rise up and call her happy. Her husband too, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a share in the fruit of her hands and let her works praise her in the city gates. It's the word of God for the people of God. Thanks. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. I pray that song was a blessing to you. When I found it, I thought many of our battles from the mother's perspective, the fathers, even our own, just getting our families where they need to be, they're one on our knees. Gracious creator, El El Elyon, the most high God, this day, we thank you for your new mercies. 
We thank you for the mothers around the world, those who have taken in even others' children's children to love and to care for them, God. We thank you for the prayers of all the mothers around the world. We ask in the name of Jesus that indeed your Holy Spirit, your Ruach HaKodesh, would come this day in this service, manifest, revive, and renew us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. As a mother, I will say, Paul, go ahead to the next slide. I will say that this was the first Mother's Day, the child I had on Mother's Day, Benet, I didn't even see her. She went to Florida for the weekend. And it was a really, I think it's a landmark time when you know your children are growing to a certain age. You don't see them on their birthdays all the time. And, you know, that time of getting cupcakes and all of that is over. And it was a milestone for me. So I kind of pouted a little bit yesterday um, thinking about her birthday and just knowing she's off living her life. And uh, that's what Kenny and I want her to do. But just thinking about all the times that we were together and celebrate it and knowing that that was the first time I did not see her physically on her birthday. What's more important to us in the word of God is the truth that's in the word of God. And it's true, your children should rise up and call you blessed and your husband also. And Many women don't get that. And today I want to highlight that if you've never heard your children give you the praise that is due, most, most do not get that these days. So I'm going to begin with, is Ernest there? Ernest? Did he come on, Paul? No, uh, I don't think so. Okay, is Melanie there? Yes, Melanie should be there. All right, Melanie, you have the floor. Rise up and call your mother blessed. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Melanie. Hey. Hey, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Mom, I just wanted to tell you thank you for standing in the gap when we couldn't even see things for ourselves. You've always been a prayerful woman, a woman of sweet virtue, a loving mother. And lately you've been the rock that we've needed to get through some really hard times. And I wanna just say thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for the prayers. Even though, even if I didn't even know you were praying, I know you were, <laughs> you know, I knew you were. Um, and I love you. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> All right, Miss Carolyn, your children rise up and they call you blessed. And we all know that Tom did as well. He praised you. Many women have done excellently, but you surpassed them all. How about Thank that? You. Thank you. <laughs> so mm. Ernest was supposed to be on this morning. I don't know I'm if he here. is. He's here. Yeah, he's here. All right, Ernest. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, sissy. Good morning. <laughs> you guys go ahead, rise up, and call your mother blessed. Well, good morning. And um, we truly know and have been surrounded and blessed by having a praying family, a praying mom, a loving mom, a nurturing mom. And it has been, it has not been a time since we've been coming up where we didn't know or feel the love and, and the direction and everything that you have instilled in us from the beginning until even now that 
you 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 had our back and we love you we um we 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 appreciate everything that you've done and you continue to do and we are just so thankful and my fraternity put out something a little while ago that just sums it all up and it says a mom is not a person to lean on but a person to make leaning unnecessary youth fades love droops the leaves of friendship fall a mother's secret hope outlives them all god could not be everywhere and therefore he made mother sometimes the strength of motherhood is greater than all natural law we love you miss love you too and we love each and every one of the moms from beth salem who had a hand in raising it's in us. us yes <laughs> so we love you we appreciate you and reverend caldwell you already know so i don't even have to take <laughs> but thank you so much and uh have a happy mother's day happy mother's thank day you. thank you did you want to say something jessica no, I just pretty much said everything. I mean, with our mothers, who was spared a rod to save the child? <laughs> <laughs> because of that, all uh, those whippings I got when I was younger, yeah, she made me out to be the person I am today. Oh, yes. right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think the ones I got helped me as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, my grandmother would say at times, I wasn't going to feel better unless she got me. She said, you're just not going to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> so at this time, I'm going to ask Paul to tell us something about his mom and Patty as well. Yeah. Well, I, I can't match the stories that have already been told. Um, my mother was a preacher's wife who had the responsibility of six kids, including three boys within three years of each other. Um, Lesser. Who loved to fight and run around and stay on the street as much as possible. Actually at the road, since it was a, we didn't live in the town. Uh, well, she of course, I mean, she spent time probably agonizing over what we did and praying for us. <laughs> She, and, and I'm sure this is true for everybody, most of us here, she raised us and fed us on uh, not a lot of money. I used to tell the story about how I, on the first Sunday, I'd look up on the front of the church to see how much my dad was going to make that month. But, <laughs> um, she used to bake all of our bread and all of our rolls, and I used to beg for store brought, and I regret that many times. But anyway, uh, so she's always been a blessing to us. She's taken care of us. I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, all right. The main Patty. thing. The main thing is <laughs> that it never occurred to me we weren't loved. Amen. Uh, Amen. Man. Uh, and my loving wife, uh, <laughs> I was listening to the song about my mother's prayer. And that's just something that Patty has done all of her kids' life. Every night is a prayer for her kids. Um, and she had to take up the slack when I was being way too nice with them. Um, she used to tell me that the kids were going to live with us all our lives because I wouldn't discipline them enough. But uh, <laughs> Chip got a few whippings. Ivan never got any. Um, so guess who's with us? But I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, would you like to say something about your precious mother? Yes, I I would, you know, and I was just talking to her this morning and, you know, and I 
I thank God for her. Um, you know, my mother only had a sixth grade education. Uh, she was a farm girl. Her, my grandfather had a farm, so um, she only had a sixth grade education. But I do declare that lady had more wisdom in her little finger than I have on my whole oversized body. And she, <laughs> she had such quiet grace, uh, just funny, you know, I, and she, you know, <laughs> um, she loved President Carter. And, and I remember uh, I took Paul to meet her and um, I had told him how she loved to talk politics. So he asked her what she thought of President Carter. And, you know, and very seriously, she said, well, he might need to go back to school to learn a few things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, you know, th that, that was just her. And it's, it's really ironic. Out of all her 10 children, I'm the one and I'm the baby of the family. And I'm the one who said, oh, I'm never going to be like, like her. You know, I wanted to know everything, read books, uh, you know, just learn as much as I could. So, you know, I said I was never going to be like her. But ironically, out of all her children, I well, who turned out to be most like her. You know, and so, and so, yes. Um, you know, the Bible says we're to pray for our children. Women were to pray for our men. And that's what, and I got that from my mom and that I've always done that. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Linda, tell us about your mom. And you and I know, I mean, both of us being from North Carolina, I know a lot of the battles that I had as a child growing up was one on my grandmother's knees praying for me and praying me through the odds that were against me. So tell us about your mother, Linda. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can see the dress uh, in the background of my of me. Uh, I take this dress out three times a year. This was the last dress my mother bought. And I have not worn it yet. My mother was a coal miner's daughter. She grew up in the coal mines of Kentucky, but eventually my grandfather moved them back to North Carolina. I was born and raised in North Carolina. And the one thing that I thank my mother for, out of my mother, my grandmothers, my grandfathers, aunts and uncles, and all those brothers, my mother was the only one that ever thanked me. She said somebody had to teach me that I wasn't the only person in the world. <laughs> so when I did wrong, no matter what my daddy said, my mom thanked, and I thank her for that. And as for as being a mother, I too love the song "On Your Knees." I get on my knees and pray for my seven children every day, um, and I hope that they are getting something from this. And I know my mother is looking down on me. And one day I'm going to wear that dress. <laughs> Linda, how many grandchildren do you have? 24 grandchildren, seven great grandchildren, and three great grandchildren on the way. And I know they all rise and call you blessed. The times they come and work alongside you at the pantry and different things, we all know they rise and they call you blessed just like you have called your mother a blessed woman, a strong woman, your children to rise and call you blessed. Miss Carolyn, would you like to say something about your mom? Yes, I would. My mother was one of the most sweetest, sweetest per person you've ever known. Mm -hmm. She was the mother of eight children, but she was also the neighborhood mother. Everyone called her Mame. If you were hungry, she would feed you, whatever. She loved us and she taught us how to love each other, first of all. You start at home, love begins at home and spreads abroad. That's what she tried to teach, what she taught us. And I just miss her so much. 
Amen. I can't see the others that are here. I think Rod is here. Rod, would you like to say something about your mom? It would take up the whole time that we would be on this call if I was to speak about my mother. But to um, actually say to all the mothers on the call, growing up at Beth Salem, all the women in the church were all my mothers. So, you know, to be blessed with having that opportunity to be raised by all the women in the church, including, you know, people like Ms. Duval, Ms. Clark, Ms. Kitchen, um, all those great ladies of the church, and of course, my grandmother. Uh, I definitely would like to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers on the call. Thank you, thank you. Denise, are you here? Denise Harrow? Hello. She may not have, hi there. Hello. Hi you, there. Have, hey. you have the floor to say, uh, to rise up and call your mother blessed. Good morning, everyone, and happy Mother's Day to you, Pastor Charlotte, and happy Thank Mother's you. Day to all. Thank you for this opportunity. I love you to everyone. And I would like to say thank you to Jesus that my mother is still alive to see this day. Um, mm -hmm. She had that very uh, scary circumstance a couple months ago. And I would just like to thank God for his mercy and his continued grace upon her life. And uh, I pray for her this day because I know that she is still grieving for the loss of her son, um, her only son, Rufus Harrow Jr., who passed away last year in March. So thank you. I can't see if Harriet or uh, Grace or Justine, if they're here, I can only see a few, uh, but if you will unmute and if you want to rise and call your mother blessed, please do so at this time. So where's Kenny? Kenny actually went to the child, the child that went on vacation for her birthday, decided that, that her plane would come in at 10 o'clock. <laughs> So is that, is that Grace? Who is that? Miss Lena, would you like to say something about your mother? Amen. Amen. Uh, happy Mother's Day, everybody. The only thing I can say about Sis Corner on this Mother's Day is that she would be in her kitchen Mm -hmm. Cooking collard greens, neck bones, sweet potatoes, <laughs> corn on the cob, yes. cornbread. Yes, bless the Lord, yes. And she would have made a cake. Glory! Yes. Happy Mother's Day, Sis Connor. God bless you. Amen. All right, Moses, would you like to uh, rise up and call your mother blessed? I see Moses. I was able to pull over and see a little bit of something. Moses? Okay. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Okay. Uh, yes, my, my mother was blessed, and we were blessed to have her. She, uh, the, the, th the things to, that we got from, from her was, was, was her, her, her care and her toughness and, 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 and just total devotion to being, to being a mother and, and a wife. Amen. Amen. I see some numbers. I don't know who they are. If you want to uh, unmute your mic and rise up and call your mother blessed, please do so at this time. Paul, go to the next slide. The word blessed in this text in Hebrew is asar, asar. A verb meaning to go straight, to go on, to advance forward, to be called blessed, or to be made happy. And all of the descriptions I'm hearing of the moms, they knew they were on the straight and narrow path of righteousness. And they were not stagnant. They moved on. 
And I too, like Paul Kaufman, complained about the homemade bread, but I would really love some, some breakfast biscuits from my grandmother this day. <laughs> she wouldn't do it two, three times a day. So in the, the Hebrew text, it talks about the noble wife is an accomplished person. And many of our mothers, while they may not have had the opportunities that we have, they accomplish grand things through us because of their patience and mother, motherly love that they gave us. So I wanted you to know this word, asar. So it means blessed, but it means that you're going straight and you're advancing forward. You're not a stagnant person. No mother that raises a child is allowed to be stagnant. They constantly move the child forward from, you know, birth to teething to all of the things that we have to do. And for that, I rise and call mothers around the world blessed. Next slide, Paul. I wanted you to know most of us would ascribe these writings to Solomon or in Hebrew, Shilamo. The last two chapters in Proverbs were contributed by two unknowns, Agur and King Lemuel. One late tradition suggests that Lemuel is Solomon and that the lengthy praise of a virtuous woman in Proverbs 31, 10 through 31, was dedicated to his mother Bathsheba. I wouldn't be surprised if Solomon didn't take the time to rise and call his mother blessed. So the real contribution of this passage is to demonstrate that women played an important role in social and economics in Old Testament. Many times while women were property, Jewish women had more freedom than most of the Gentile women. They just the way they function and run their household, preparing when it is Passover. It is the mothers in the Jewish community who are making sure that there is no yeast in anything. Some of them keep brand new pots. They buy, there's um, a liquid you can buy and clean your pots. So if you start cooking in them, there's no remnants of yeast in those pots. So they pay, played an important social and economic role, in. just as we do. Well, that's Sunday school. <laughs> You know, Next slide. Oh. So this is my prayer. I thank you guys for being willing to rise up and call your mother blessed. Dear Lord, please watch over and support all mothers on earth and in heaven and help them to know how much they are loved and appreciated on Mother's Day and every day. I want to add this disclaimer. Watch out for the biblical view of women that is merely male chauvinism, dressed up in a misapplied <laughs> text. <laughs> God has always honored women. In fact, he allowed Moses to write divorces for the protection of women, not the men. A biblical view that seems anti woman, understand that that's anti God. <laughs> After all, we are created in God's image. I celebrate and salute every mom, every mom. Thank you, Melanie, Ernest, Sissy, Moses, Linda. Thank you all for being willing to share some of the good parts of your mothers as you rise up and call her this day blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. Watch out, Paul. <laughs> Trying to get over too soon, I guess. Uh, we wanted, tomorrow we're going to be preparing boxes for the, for the pantry on Tuesday, and there is a pantry on Tuesday beginning at 11 o'clock. Um, just be prepared to bag some vegetables again, I guess. Uh, so as many people as can, please <coughs> come to the church around six o'clock tomorrow. And there will be 
we'll set, try and set up boxes so that Tuesday's pantry can go as smooth as possible. Charlotte is threatening to be there, so look out. <laughs> well, I will be there. And uh, what we're going to do is make sure all of the vegetables are separated. I don't know what's in boxes, but that way uh, we can put something on there. and We know exactly how many to go in bags and things like that so that we can get through. Last time we spent more time bagging just the produce than boxing. And then I can help make up boxes. So I will be there. Okay. okay. So to join into the fun. Not a threat, it's a promise. <laughs> Huh? Not a threat, it's a promise. It's a promise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let, let me add, Charlotte, that we start promptly at six. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 well, I have to be there early or I'll get caught in the Atlanta traffic. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Paul and uh, Demetrius, I, Moses, are you gonna be there? We were going to walk the property again and make sure that we got the right shrubs and things cut down, things that we need moved around um, the sanctuary before we begin uh, repairs. We were so, going to do that more on Tuesday. Tuesday? Well, I thought we were doing it Monday. I'll still be there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Demetrius is going to be there on Monday or not. He's, he said he well, it seems like he's working at night. And that's how he's able to be there on Tuesday. So um, he may not be there Monday. But if anything, I will come in and begin to tape up boxes. Uh, I'm assuming boxes already there and things like that. We'll get the boxes taped up and ready and help Donnie when he uh, comes in with everything. So it looks like we will have 15,000 pounds of food to distribute. Uh-oh, I think Kenny mm -hmm. got home. Huh? I think Kenny got home. No, did he log on? He may have logged on on his phone. Okay. Hi, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, and just for those of you who don't know, she's left up Virginia with prayers. Her brother passed and they are dealing with a lot of issues because it happened in New Mexico. We finally got his ashes. Um, finally, they have, they have, I don't, Maurice hasn't said he received them yet, but they have been shipped to the funeral home. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I get word from him, uh, Charlotte, I'll get with you about what plans we are making. Uh, okay. about this has been a long time of preparing for this. Um, but I'm trying to hold on. I'm trying to hold on to trying so we can go get through this. So please pray for me because it has been uh, a great struggle. Yeah. And for those who have not been able to be a part of something like this, I, I, I will pray for anyone who has to go through this. This has been a long, long struggle. But it's, I'm finally bringing him home to rest. And that's my biggest thing that's going to that's what I want to do. Okay. So pray for me. And I'll keep y'all posted about everything after I talk with the people. All right. Well, you know, your best Salem family is here for you. Um, I'll come by and see you on Monday and we can discuss some of the things maybe that you want to do. Uh, I still have to mask up. I had my second shot, but um, I think it takes two weeks before you're fully clear. It does. Isn't that right, Paul? Yeah. Still so, nice. um, so, you know, I'll come and if we need to discuss some things, how the family would like to proceed, uh, I'm always available for that. So um, please do lift Miss Virginia and her family in prayer. Now, if you want information in the bulletin or in the, on the PowerPoint, uh, let me know at, e at the email address or my phone number. I will say that's never happened in the not time I've had it up there, but it's still there. It's still a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have birthdays. Tanawanda was yesterday. Benet was Friday. Carolyn is next Friday, I think. Benet's was the eighth. Oh, somebody told me it was the seventh. So, <laughs> okay, it was Saturday then. Uh, then Jared Jones is the twenty second. Ms. Holloway is on the twenty fourth, and Tayshawn and Tayshawn, I. Sounds the same to me. 
uh, are on the 28th. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to uh, thank everybody for continuing to support Beth Salem. Uh, through PayPal and through Cash App and through sending checks. Um, we've been able to maintain. <coughs> uh, somebody might have to step in here. We've been able to maintain our, keep paying our bills, keep paying the pastor, and get to the point where we're going to be able to do some repairs on the sanctuary and let's try to start heading in that direction. All right. So, and as you know as well, um, our startup time will be the first Sunday in July. And that means we will be having service on the 4th of July. So Session is making some wonderful plans for those who will be able to be with us. So food and things like that. It will not be service as, as usual. We will actually celebrate that we're able to meet. Uh, anything uh, we do will be outside. We still ask that people space. If you have been fully vaccinated, then we ask that, yes, come into the service. Um, but we want to be careful because we have a lot of senior citizens and I don't want anyone getting ill. So... Uh, Paul, I will uh, take it from here. Go for it. All right, so let's say what we believe. I believe, in believe God. in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived who was by the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, Virgin Mary, Suffered under Pontius Pilate, suffered under Pontius was Pilate, crucified, died, crucified, and was died, was buried. He descended into hell, and he on the third day, he third rose again day, from the dead. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand own, of God the Father Almighty. The Father Almighty. From there, he there, will come to judge the living, judge and, living the dead. and the dead. I believe in the Holy I believe Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. The Holy, Catholic, the Holy Church. Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, sins, of sins, and the resurrection, the resurrection of, the body, of the body, life everlasting. Life everlasting. Amen. 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 As you go forward this week with sweet memories of your your moms, to the women of God. Fearless in love, patient beyond the call of duty, ever faithful and preserving, we say thank you to all the mothers around the world. We say thank you for your fearlessness and your patience and your ever preserving of each and every one of us. We all know, I know I do, my grandmother preserved me as a little girl and help me maintain. That is your Mother's Day blessing. I pray that um, like um, me, 